Hello friends, welcome to episode 17. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can implement case routing rules. Now case routing rules can simplify the life of case service agents and service managers by automatically assigning cases based on specific requirements or conditions. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now a few things that you should know about routing rules. Routing rules allow assigning cases to the right resource without any manual intervention. Routing rules can also be used for routing cases to specific queues. What are queues? We will go ahead and discuss that as well. Now routing rules allow users to define conditions and actions. That means based on particular condition or specific requirement, you create an action on a particular case. Now routing rules can be applied automatically or manually. When we say automatically, that is based on certain triggers, the system itself takes care of the routing rules. By manually, we mean that you go to a case and apply the routing rule yourself and behind the scenes, automatically the routing rules, conditions and actions are applied. Now you can have only one active routing rule at a time. That is important. Okay, so we have a scenario where we have a customer who would like to get response in eight hours for high priority cases within 12 hours for normal priority cases and 24 hours for low priority cases. So in this case, uh, based on the priority, cases must be assigned to a queue, uh, such as cases with high priority, route through high priority cases queue, cases with normal priority, route through normal priority cases queue, and cases with low priority, you guessed it, route through low priority cases queue. So let's go ahead and have a look how we can do that. All right, so here we are in Dynamics 365. First, we need to go to the advanced settings. So you can click on the cog over here and click on advanced settings. And once you are in the advanced settings, go to settings and go to service management. And under service management, you'll find this routing rule sets. So just open that. And over here by default, you will see that there is no routing sets. So we'll First, go ahead and create a new routing set. Click on new, and then you can provide a logical name over here. So let's say assign cases with priority to specific queue, and you can provide the same description over here. And before we can provide any rule items in this uh, set, we need to save this. So let's just go ahead and click on save over here. So right now, if you go back and see the status of uh, this routing set, you will see that this is in the draft stage. So that means we have created our routing rule sets and now we are going to add items to it. So let's just open this again. To add the rule item, click on the plus sign over here. And the first item is for high priority cases. So let us provide a logical name over here. Let's say high priority cases goes to high priority queue. Uh, same for the description. And then we need to add the conditions over here. We need to use the primary entity as case and select priority and then select equals and then select the value over here. And the value is going to be high. By the way, you can have much more conditions, but for now we'll just specify a simple condition over here. So based on this particular condition, whatever uh, cases satisfy this condition, we can route them to either a queue or user or team. So if we choose user or team, we can specify the user or the team, which contains a number of users. For now, we'll just route it to queue and uh, since we have not defined any queue we will quickly go ahead and define a queue over here for high priority cases so look for more records now let's just say we'll call this high priority queue so define a name over here high priority queue we can make it either public or private so if we do private then only the members in this particular queue members will be able to see this the listing in this queue uh, so there are a lot many things to uh, a queue. Of course, we'll discuss the queue settings in, in upcoming videos. Um, but for now, let's just say that we have created a queue called high priority queue and then um, define the description as well. And then said uh, just save and close. And now we will attach the queue to this new rule item. So what we have basically done is create a new rule item within the set saying that high priority cases go to high priority queue. We will have defined the condition which will check all the cases. So any case that matches this condition where the priority is high, it will route it to the queue called high priority queue 
uh, and based on the team members of that queue they will be able to see those cases so let's just save and close this and create um, two more rule items for normal priority and uh, low priority so as you can see over here i have gone and created two new rule items for normal priority cases and low priority cases which go to low priority queue uh, similar to the one that we had uh, created for high priority cases now once we have done this all we need to do is activate the um, the set the routing rule set so if we go ahead and click on activate the system will uh, give you a message over here which says only one routing rule set can be activated at a time which is important to note so if you activate this routing rule set the previously activated rule for this entity will be deactivated so do you want to continue this will set the routing rule set to active state so do you want to continue i will say yes we need to continue and then activate the routing rule set and now when you go back to the routing rule set list you will see that the status is now in active state now if i go back to my customer service hub over here and click on queues i can see that i have now a listing of high priority queue low priority queue or normal priority queue so if i just click on high priority queue or any of the other queues i will see that there is no um, case as such right now so let's just go ahead and test um, uh, the rule items as well so let me just go to cases and by default the system will not route the case automatically so in this case we need to go to the cases and route them manually so for example let's just choose one high priority case one normal case and one low case and then click on apply routing rule once I've done the routing, now let's just go to the queues and check if the cases have been routed properly. So if I click over here and click on high priority queue and uh, let me select all items, then I can see that there is one high priority queue over here. And similarly, low priority queue, I can say there's one over here that we had selected. And in the normal uh, priority queue, there's a case with uh, which has come into the normal priority queue. So um, this is how we can route uh, the cases to the respective queues uh, just by selecting multiple cases if you want and clicking on, uh, if you want, you can click all the cases over here and then click on apply routing rule and all based on the priorities or the conditions that we have set the routing rules will be applied and they will go into their respective queues i hope now you understand um, how you can create uh, routing rule sets and the rule items uh, so that you can route the cases uh, into different queues uh, of course there are much more to it for example how to set up the queues how to set up uh, automatic case creation and routing rules so we will try to cover that in upcoming uh, videos and episodes so stay tuned and uh, just go ahead and try it out for yourself as well